Okay, again, with the uh, bench top construction method, no uh, no jigging as with the other pieces. This picture here I know is not very exciting, but I just wanted to show again, um, I use a corner of the bench as a reference. I lay my pieces right on the bench. Uh, this 42 and a half inch mark is depicted in the prints. And then I just uh, lay out my wood pieces and uh, cut and file and sand to uh, get them all to fit together and uh, to match up with the dimensions on the print as marked on the tape. Now I have a slew of pictures coming up here which might be a little bit more exciting, uh, possibly. These pictures uh, just show how I kind of went about making my tapers for the elevators. These uh, these two pieces here are for one elevator, one piece is for uh, the inside end closest to the rudder, and the other piece is the outside end. Uh, you may be wondering why they're different lengths, that's because when they're assembled to the elevator they're at two different angles, but uh, when everything is said and done they are, uh, they make a nice square and parallel elevator. So you can see where I've drawn my pencil lines to make my tapers. Again, these pieces were not routed at all out of a solid piece. They were made from two separate pieces of spruce epoxy together. And then I lay out uh, where I want the taper to begin and end. And I lay out the taper uh, right on the piece. And then uh, these get cut on a bandsaw, just rough cut with the tapers along the pencil lines. And then I come back and clean them up with the various files, sandpaper, whatever it takes. This shot here is uh, the two ends of one elevator finished. They have been uh, tapered and they have the proper angles cut at each end to mate with the other pieces of the elevator. This is just another shot, another angle of the, uh, the same two pieces. Last few pictures here, again uh, showing the, uh, the tape and the pencil marks on my countertop. This picture is one of the uh, trailing edge corners of the elevator with this my scalp trailing edge. You can see how I cut and fitted the trailing edge to the uh, spruce and uh, when it's all said and done the uh, alignment marks if you will line up with the uh, dimensions on the print. This picture here is another example of that puzzle piece fitting together method when you uh, cut these strips individually rather than milling them out of a single piece. You can fit them and overlap them and epoxy them more like a puzzle, if you will. I kind of mentioned that in one of the hints earlier. I really don't know how else to explain it, but um, with the individual pieces, you can, you can fit them and uh, cut the angles and uh, overlap the pieces um, and then epoxy them that way. If if these were both cut out of a solid piece, you couldn't have that, that quarter inch strip on the far left right by the C-clamp. You couldn't have that slide all the way down over the end of the piece that runs along the bottom, if, if that makes sense. So I liked it. It worked really well for me. And this picture here, this is kind of going backwards a little bit, um, but I wanted to include this picture to show the uh, taper on the uh, elevator with the with with my design scallop trailing edge that you see here being so skinny which is the way I wanted it this taper is uh, more pronounced and I just wanted to include this picture so you can get a, a better view of it and then this next picture coming up is the final picture of the finished product um, the little weights again are just to hold the stringers down so they don't pop up um, there is a bend in them because of that main beam, but uh, the weights are just there to, to apply some mild pressure to hold them in place. And that's it. The uh, other elevator will be a duplicate of this using the same bench top, the same tape, the same pencil mark, so it should come out exactly the same. And I believe that is that. All right. All right, so as I said at the beginning of the video, I would probably make the uh, the ending narration soon after I made the intro, which I did, obviously, I the same stuff on. 
But uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you can uh, get something useful out of it and incorporate some uh, different things into your airplane as you're building. Um, I'm trying to think of what to talk about here just because this video has been such a long process for me. I've been photographing things and videotaping things and sticking it on the computer and then it'd be months later I get back to it and start making this hint video and I can't remember what I wanted to talk about and what I had talked about and what's in the video clips and what I had taken pictures of so I'm trying to wrap that all up now and I'm drawing a blank so I really don't know what else to say at this point other than um, the uh, the scallop trailing edges on the control surfaces I didn't talk very much about not intentionally, well I guess it was intentionally because originally I wasn't going to include any of the scale of trailing edge stuff in the video at all. I was going to edit the picture so you couldn't see it and all that nonsense, but obviously I changed my mind because uh, a little bit of it is in the video. Uh, but the method of making the scallops, there's a half a billion different ways you can do that. I may possibly, depending on how things go, I may make another shorter DVD uh, just covering the method I use to, to make the actual uh, curves for the scales and uh, how I went about to getting things to align properly and how I got the trailing edge with the scales to fit within the realm of the dimensions given on the prints and all that good stuff. So that may be forthcoming, I don't know yet. You guys, I'm sure, are, are more than smart enough to figure out uh, your own way of, of cutting them and introducing them into your aircraft, but uh, feel free to email me at any time with any questions, concerns, comments. I, I appreciate it. I, I like getting feedback, good or bad, on the videos so that uh, that helps improve the ones coming down the line. Um, this is the first video that, um, that I'm making that uh, I'm going to plug my own website. I, I'm working on a website currently. It's called Caretaker Arrow. Uh, that's what I call my shop here. I like to call this Caretaker Arrow because I'm building my plane here in my shop. And um, there's a whole big story behind the name. But uh, I'm currently building the website. It, it is up and running now. Um, I'm working on the, the ins and outs for a credit card and PayPal anyway. All these videos will be available on the website. Uh, you can order direct from there. And again, that's caretakerarrow.com. Caretaker with a K. Caretaker Arrow, all one word. La di di, la di da. You probably have noticed the logo all over this video. But uh, please visit the website. It's a brand new thing. It's hopefully it will grow and mold into something uh, very worthy of. Uh, the home builder community and be useful to uh, aircraft builders. But again, that was the uh, three tail section. I am, believe it or not, running out of things to talk about. I don't want to string this out longer than I need to with a bunch of nonsense. So again, thank you. Uh, again, check the website uh, for the latest and greatest and feel free to email me with uh, pretty much anything comments, concerns, gripes, um, accolades, whatever you got. Alrighty, that will be, I guess that's that. And uh, we will see you hopefully on uh, Hint Video 4 and whatever comes after that. Alrighty. Hey everybody. Just wanted to say real quick again, thanks for checking out my YouTube videos and uh, just a couple of real quick tidbits before you leave. If you'd be so kind as to check out my GoFundMe page, the link is down in the description of these videos. For those of you who uh, find it in your heart to uh, donate for this new cause of mine, I've got another project going on and uh, there's some really cool things I'd like to do with this aircraft. Um, and again, that's all explained in my GoFundMe. But um, if you find move en moved enough to go do that and donate, um, I've got this, this horizontal stabilizer skin and uh, donors will get their name put on this skin and ultimately when this gets filled and uh, the aircraft gets finished, this is going to be hung up on the wall of honor in my hangar, just a little uh, 
a little bit of recognition for those donors who helped make the project a reality. Another thing too is I'm sure you've noticed that even this video that I'm making right now is of the same or worse quality than the video that you just watched and that's because believe it or not this camera is the exact same camera that I filmed the original hint videos with. So uh, I just wanted to point that out, I'm not really sure why, but uh, I know the video quality lacks, but hopefully the information within is, uh, is worth something. And the other thing that I wanted to mention real quick is, again, these are little snippets from my Hint Video DVDs, so a lot of these individual clips just kind of come to an abrupt end. Um, and that's just the way it is when I'm, I'm trying to rip these DVDs apart and, and re-edit them into small little segments and they, they just kind of end weird at, at times. But that's it. That's all I wanted to say. And again, thanks. And I hope you'll come back, check out my channel, and uh, see if there are any new videos and updates. All right. I'll talk to you then. See you.